Well, we begin with India. The capital city is gearing up for a groundbreaking move in its battle against air pollution. Now, the Delhi government has announced that preparations for artificial rain via cloud seeding have been completed. This is following a successful trial flight over the Burari area. Now, Chief Minister Rekha Gupta has said that if conditions remain favorable, the first artificial rainfall experiment may be attempted on October 29th. Meanwhile, officials can caution that despite the readiness, the operation depends heavily on the presence of suitable clouds. The drive to induce artificial rain comes at a time when Delhi's air quality is under severe stress. With particulate matter reaching hazardous levels, the government has turned to weather modification methods as an additional tool. The pilot project is being carried out in collaboration with the IIT Kanpur and the local environment department. Now, so what is cloud seeding? Now, at its core, it's a weather modification technique, which is designed to enhance a cloud's ability to produce rain. Scientists with these substances such as silver iodide, dry ice, liquid propane, or salts into suitable clouds. The added particles act as nuclei around which moisture can condense, forming droplets or ice crystals that can then fall as rain. Now here's how it happens. First, aircraft fly below or into selected clouds or cloud formations. They either release flares or disperse powdered chemical agents. These agents trigger condensation or ice formation in the clouds, increasing the chance of rain if enough moisture is present. Now, in Delhi's case, the trial flight conducted over Buradi evaluated the aircraft's readiness, the flare deployment system, and coordination between agencies. While the trial did not produce rain because cloud cover and moisture were insufficient on that day, it confirmed that the machinery planning and logistics are in place. Now, if this successful, the artificial rain is expected to help wash down suspended pollutants from the air, especially PM2.5 and PM10 particles that linger during the winter, mo winter months when smog gets trapped in the city's basin-like geography. However, experts do caution that cloud seeding is not a silver bullet for pollution. Its effectiveness depends heavily on favorable meteorological conditions. There must be sufficient cloud moisture, correct cloud type and temperature, and the process can only work when nature cooperates. Now, Delhi hopes to trigger its first artificial rain next week if the skies behave. Now, the plan is ambitious, technically complex, and weather-dependent weather, it delivers significant relief from pollution remains to be seen.